Thank you, Madam Chairman. I apologize. I see, feel so far away from you. I probably should have moved over there. Um, Madam Chairman and, and Ranking Member Graves, I uh, want to thank all of you uh, for being here. And I, sorry I was a little late, but I noticed in mo all your testimony, you talked about how successful these programs were since their inception and how we now have the opportunity to both reauthorize them and enhance them. So I'm very pleased that one of the bills under um, consideration is the Rural Technology and Outreach Act, which is going to seek uh, participation for uh, rural areas as well as women and veterans. But I'd like to hear further from any of you on the panel uh, what you think we need to do or what you plan to do with regards to outreach or how do we get more participation from those areas? Uh, one little thing, and again, I'm looking at it just from the single company perspective, right. but uh, I have seen in the state of Missouri uh, uh, someone who has been charged with uh, the responsibility for working with companies uh, as they apply for grants. Um, so whether that's done at the federal level or at the state level, I'm not sure what's the right way. But again, getting back to my comment to Congressman Thompson, the idea that there would be resources that would help that company uh, make a sophisticated application is, I think, really important. Uh, you, know, you, you feel like you're somewhat in a game, I'll be honest with you, when you're writing up an application. And, you know, you want to make sure you understand the rules of the game. Well, and also, um, someone said that the rules changed in 2003. Was that for the good? I think uh, Dr. Koenig said that, Koenig. Yes, um, I, as I as I indicated, I thought it was for the <laughs> for the for the bad, <laughs> not for the good. I think. Can you that, explain that for us? Uh, yes, I think um, what has what happened was is that um, companies um, that were uh, be, the, receiving um, uh, SBR funds were no longer now eligible to receive those SBR funds. So, as a result, since that time, I mean the NIH has a uh, nice documentation. The number of grant applications have gone down. Uh, there's been a general sense that the quality of the applications have gone down. Um, so s some of the more um, uh, six potentially successful companies with the best technology are now excluded from this process. And I think what we need to do is change that so that they now can become, again, part of that process. And, and one last question. So have you um, let us know that, I'm sure, and I'm new, but have you let anybody know that we need to change that so more people have an opportunity to well, use the funds? Well, that, I mean, I think that's a, a large part of the testimony from this panel today. Right. Um, I think there was a uh, consensus that this of uh, the greatest impact would be to change that rule to allow now uh, for the venture back companies um, to again participate in that program. Because most people are telling me now they're fearful that there's not going to be enough in there because we've expanded it to um, rural women, veterans. Well, I, I mean, I think, again, it, it's, it's going back to what it was. So I think that um, it, in, in the end, we're getting now back to a, a more even playing field and ultimately having the best companies compete um, for um, the um, the limited resources here, which right. I think is in the interest of the of the, of the uh, country. Thank you, Madam Chairman.